Okay, uh, yeah, I've kicked off the recording. So, hi everybody, and welcome to the latest advocacy and outreach SIG. Um, I've got in some actions, uh, but feel free to, if there's something pressing, let me know and we can add it into the agenda. Um, and if there's any highlights from last week, I don't think I've gone through the previous actions. Um, we can call those out. So the main focus um, from my side was a lot of the events related to the Jenkins at DevOps World, Jenkins World, the Contributor Summit. And I think we've got on there a community bridge update from Oleg. So before we start going into that, are there any other kind of main topics people want to highlight at this point? Uh, community, community, sorry, community booth at Jenkins World. Oh, you got it. It's there. Community booth content at Jenkins World. Uh, I had an action item to see if we could get platform SIG in for a presentation and only just sent the question to Alyssa today. So okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Make, let's talk about that under the Jenkins and DevOps world bit. Cool. Okay. Let's start get into the, uh, Previous actions, um, I have not written any blog posts, so uh, those will hold over. Okay, Jenkins Contributor Summit. Uh, so this was the event which will be on the Monday, uh, August 12th. So I believe from here, myself and Marky will be at that. Yes, I'll be there. Um, so I think the main thing was in the morning, I'm helping set the agenda for kind of cross continuous delivery foundation projects agenda. So we'd sort of share project overviews, talk about topics um, that are cross community, like outreach, like internship programs and things like that. Um, but then for the afternoon, um, we'd want to have specific Jenkins topics. So I guess just figuring out like um, if we can just leave it to the day to organize, to self-organize, or what the best way to perhaps get some topic suggestions ahead of time and maybe short talks that people want to do. So I guess <coughs> one question, Marky, um, is there any topic that you would like to present on? I think I'm presenting at the lunch demo on Thursday. Is this the same? Okay. So is that something you'd be interested as well, kind of maybe doing a, a, a dry run at the Contributor Summit to just open up topics for discussion? Yeah, I can totally do that. Okay. Just remind me what that topic was. Um, this was the assistive uh, scanning plugin. Great. Okay, and I know folks like the folks from Booz, um, Alan Hamilton will be there and they can talk about pipeline templating. Um, so if I get maybe three to five topics of people who can do things and then maybe the rest will, will just follow from there. Does that sound reasonable to everybody? Oh, actually, Oleg, are you aware if maybe Natasha is going to be around? Would that be somebody who I should approach about speaking or demoing at the Contributor Summit? Uh, she should be around, and uh, Alisa was about to issue call to her. I'm not sure what's uh, the final result, but yeah, I talked about it to Alisa and Kristen, uh, who's a mentor. Yeah, I would appreciate if somebody also talks about the JSOC because I guess Marky will be there, Martin uh, will be there, maybe Jeff Pierce. I'm not sure whether, no, Jeff is not going to the Contributor Summit, but yeah, somebody will be definitely there. Okay. Okay, yes, good point. Martin will be there, so I'll ask him, I'll reach out to him about GSOC, um, and then Natasha can speak, Stephen on the pipeline templating, and Marky on scanning. And then from there, we can just kind of find common topics or areas people want to explore further. Cool. 
Perfect. That's hey, Mark, will you be there? I'll, I'll be on site, but I'm presenting training all that day, so I will miss the Contributor Summit, unfortunately. I'm, my, my day job requires that I present this particular training. Uh, would it help if I, uh, if maybe I spoke about docs? I, I would love to have anybody spoke, speak about docs that is willing to speak anything at all about docs. Yes, please. Absolutely. Yeah, you could throw me down for that. I can, I can do that, and and I'll sync with you maybe prior to you traveling, and and uh, I'll get you know some. I I want to attend more. I haven't attended as much as I'd like to, but uh, I'll sync to you to get us you know start getting a slide deck together, and then I can speak to that. Great, that would be wonderful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Just Right, okay, just putting some action items for me to follow up on. Perfect, that sounds great. Okay, let's move on to, um, oh, actually, just before we finish that, I think I may have mentioned it, but just for good measure, uh, for those who are attending, there will be a contributor appreciation event that evening, so plan to attend. Uh, you will get an email. We're not publicizing it widely because of gate crashes in the past. So you'll get an email kind of sending you details. Um, and yeah, Mark would definitely love you if you can join um, after thing after the training. So that would be great. Okay, moving on to Jenkins at DevOps World, Jenkins World. Um, so there is a community booth there, and I believe Alyssa has set the program for that. Um, was there some specific other request? So my, my specific topic there was that Oleg and I had done a, a talk last year on platform progress and used it as a great excuse to highlight the community's advancement of things like Java 11, Release Drafter, Dependabot, all sorts of things that we've done initiative-wise. Um, and I had the action item previously and was delayed on it to ask to get a slot in that to do a, a pitch on a 10 minute pitch or 15 minute pitch on platform progress. I was intending to just grab some of Oleg's slides, combine them together with something I might add and then present that. But it depends if Alyssa has the slot available. So I believe for the lunchtime demos, those were completely full. However, so this is kind of the official, like what gets on the program, those slots were all taken and we had somebody else who was waiting but couldn't get in. Um, that being said, we added a session into the agenda and I don't know if this would work for what you're suggesting, um, but it, we called it just uh, an open space for Jenkins. So, we kind of put down each CDF project with a 45 minute room. Um, and the idea was actually just to put the banner off, hey Jenkins people, let's get together and let's kind of bring together whatever topic we want to discuss. Everybody can make suggestions in the beginning, then we sort of post it note vote. And then um, we go through kind of either lightning talks or demos or discussion points. Um, so it's a bit kind of more peer-led, but it would be great maybe to have that topic like the platform SIG updates. I think that would be very popular. Let me let me plan to attend that when I hadn't noticed the Jenkins open space. I'll try to live by open space rules there and propose without trying to, to demand or, or get too pushy. Yeah, I think um, the topic sounds like it would be, it would go down very well. Um, in terms of, well, it, it sort of depends on the audience because sometimes you get, as Andrew Bayer tells me, everybody who wants their pipelines fixed and don't care about anything else. But potentially um, that could be good. Right. So let me. So that's a 45 minute space and I, that's for in 15 minute increment chunks, right? No, open spaces yeah. are typically the audience decides what topics yeah. they want to choose, right? It has um, a. It's a very, it's like an Got yeah, it. yeah, exactly. Unconference is exactly the model. Yeah, at least that's what I'm assuming, Tracy. Right? Using yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and we were 
going to take an approach perhaps that we would have um, people would sign up topics the day before at the booth. So we'd have like a, a, a sheet of paper and then people could propose topics and then people equally could vote on things. So maybe going into it, we don't spend the whole time kind of organizing, but just a few minutes. Um, if, if you need any help with this, uh, I'm more than happy to help you with it. I do have a little bit of knowledge in the un uh, unconference space. I'm actually also doing the unconference for Kubernetes, KubeCon in San Diego. So I'm very well versed on this and just okay. on it. Um, that is amazing because, yeah, so basically Cara, so my team had suggested it and I kind of said, okay, it sounds good, but I don't really know. Um, I've been to one before, which was not very effective um, at another conference. So I was having someone who has seen what an effective space looks like. Um, okay, consider yourself signed up. Yeah, Marky, that's that's wonderful because I consider that cat herding at the at the most challenging form of cat herding there ever was. It it, it, it is it is kind of evolve very quickly. Yeah, I, I I got some really good uh, ideas on on how we could make this successful. Perfect. Um, the other thing is, do you have any restrictions on when you're available? Because I we should just check that you can do the time there because. There's a slight potential we might rearrange the schedule. I am available for the whole week for this conference. Okay, and are you presenting? Uh, you at the. I'm, I'm doing the lunch the lunch demos on Thursday the 15th, and that's just a 15 minute slot. Okay, so I'll make sure. Yeah, I don't. I believe these are the breakout sessions, so they wouldn't clash with the lunchtime demos. Okay. Right. Awesome. So in case, just in case we move it, um, I, um, but it will it will still be on Thursday. It will just be one of the other slots. Um, okay. Yeah, and I think like at FOSDEM, we had a session where we just put Jenkins on the on the headline and we said, hey, come for Jenkins and we'll talk about Jenkins. And just loads of people showed up and it, it does end up being really useful because you get a lot of users who we don't normally necessarily have access to. And it's always nice to have them come along and, and kind of open up. Awesome. Yay, okay. that makes me happy. Um, and yeah, I'd mentioned to the folks as well from Booze, Alan Hamilton, and they will come along with their pipeline templating stuff. So they want any opportunity to share that with interested parties. Okay. Um, next bit is the Booth Collateral. Uh, so this was a request from Alyssa, who I was hoping could join, but um, she's been pretty swamped this week. Um, she was looking for ideas for, uh, we normally have these postcards at the booth, and I think last year it was along the lines of um, superpowers, but it's kind of like what key messaging do we want people to take away? What should they focus on? Maybe what QR codes to key sites on Jenkins? You know, if there's anything in the community we're trying to draw attention to, this is a good way to do it. So I just wanted to throw that out there. If anybody had ideas or suggestions of things we should put on little cards, like postcards that we'll give out at the booth, uh, let me know and I'll feed that back to Alyssa. So any thoughts on this? It would be nice if we made a, a link, maybe some type of a QR that would link to the SIGs to maybe sort of start spreading the adoption message to join SIGs. Uh, yeah, that's good. We haven't been too vocal about those. Yeah, maybe just having a poster with all SIGs, similar to what Martin tries to do for outreach projects. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. You know, that we still don't have uh, a logo for focus and outreach SIG, so yeah, we can take something. Okay, so links to the home pages and kind of the just the tabs of all the different ones just to raise awareness these things even exist. Yeah, maybe just a QR code linking to six page similar to what we did for outreach channels. Yeah. Outreach programs. I suppose even the outreach channels would be would be a good one. We could promote those. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a kind of less wide. Uh, well, Martin's doing a poster for that, so that could be yeah, great. Yeah, right. uh, Martin is doing a poster. My action item is to create a landing page, uh, and it will be under advocacy and outreach seek. 
So yeah. there will be just a page for that. Perfect. I'm just copying your comment in, Mark. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, yeah, no, that's great. I'll feed that back. Uh, any other ideas on this topic? Okay. Um, and then just finally, I think, if there's anything else on the whole conference side, let me know. There's the booth demos, there's the open spaces, um, there's the kind of ask the experts as well. So um, yeah, I think lots of nice opportunities and things going on there. So we'll see how that goes. Moving on. So community bridge update, and I'll hand over to Oleg for this. Yes, just a quick thing. Um, mm -hmm. So we have yet uh, running a trial run for Community Bridge. We will have one project. It will be sliding in, in use, uh, working on uh, JCASC uh, development tools. So yesterday we had a governance meeting and there will be approved budget for this project. So the budget will be at the level of Google Summer of Code. Uh, we use conditional sponsorship for DevOps Vault to Jenkins Vault uh, in Lisbon. So basically, uh, all the approvals are in place, and yeah, we will start the, the project maybe effectively today because sliding has already started working. So yeah, the date is formality. Yeah. And it's for three months. Yeah, three months. So we created a Gitter channel, we created GitHub uh, rooms, and uh, other things. Uh, there is action item to have a project page. Most likely it will be under JCASC sub project. So we will have a sub page for this project. And yeah, I'll make sure that it's linked from advocacy and outreach somehow. And one of our follow up action items is to have a job draft, which just documents uh, the process we defined uh, as a template for future projects if we decide to do so. So basically, Jeff, which would define how community bridge works, uh, what so uh, budgeting, uh, uh, target values, and other things, so that yeah. uh, we can simplify uh, approval for the next projects. Perfect. No, that sounds really good. What's the Gitter channel? Um, is that just yeah. for the specific project or for yeah, Community it's for Bridge? for a specific uh, project. Uh, it's not for Community Bridge. I yeah. don't think uh, that we need a channel for Community Bridge because yeah, there is advocacy and outreach channels. Yeah. These channels, I believe, are enough for that. Yeah, uh, okay, so yeah, just to try to clarify that. Yeah, we will send announcement to the developer mailing list or maybe even a blog post once everything is in place. Uh, right now, what we are missing is uh, just some summary page uh, on Jinx IO so that we can refer that. Perfect. And Mark, you're the mentor for Sladen, is that right? No, oh, no. Uh, Joseph Pedersen and Kim Jacob. So, two maintainers of Jinx configuration as code plugin. Cool. Great. Okay, anything else on Community Bridge? Mm -hmm. no, nothing else. Um, oh, I guess it's just worth saying I met with the folks who are developing it at the Linux Foundation. Um, so that was Kara and myself, and they gave us a walkthrough of all the different things they're planning. It's pretty cool. Um, I think it's still pretty raw in some places. So they're trying to work out how to prioritize different things. Um, but they have the different pages. So, and I think Oleg, you might have seen this. It's easy to get lost on the site because one side is the, the kind of funding side and one side is the internship, kind of the projects. And then there's also a security bit. Um, so the whole idea of the platform is that it will integrate lots of things so for instance they intend to have like sneak security scanning integrated um, there's a bug in it so you won't see it at the moment but um, in the future it will start highlighting kind of all the security warnings from that um, and then they connect up to this other page called stack share where people sort of say they self-report whether they're using it in their stack, like Jenkins in their stack, 
Um, so then it starts showing kind of adoption in a different way. So it's pretty cool. Um, it could be pretty powerful, but let's see how it evolves. Um, yeah, but I think for now, just as this GSOC as a service, it's just what we need. And potentially it's open to other projects. So we, mm -hmm. if we have strong uh, project ideas and potential candidates, uh, maybe we could afford to run a couple of more projects. I'm not yep. sure. But yeah. I think so. And I think they see the funding as, you know, a anything to a way to sponsor events as well or to fund specific development or whatever initiatives. So we can think about it quite widely. Yeah. Cool. Hey, Alyssa. Good to see you. Um, Hi, I was, sorry, I'm on mute. I was just going to say, we have dealt, we kind of went on to the DevOps world, Jenkins world topics. So mm. I don't know if you wanted to revisit, uh, we had some good suggestions for um, things around the booth collateral, specifically okay. advertising all the different um, working groups, the SIGs and then okay. QR codes to that. So I think that will be kind of a nice idea we can tie in. Okay, uh, so who can help me pull that together? Who will provide all the content? Um, I can give you pointers to the key ones and, okay. yeah, and the landing page for each one. Who's, just, who's done the QR codes in the past? Do we know someone who um, can do that? Selena can help me with that. Okay. Yep. Um, and then, um, so I, so I just want to mention, uh, so on a related topic, but I got your email, Mark, oh. for the platform SIG. Um, I'm waiting for a confirmation. So right now we don't have slots available, but I'm waiting for confirmation from a person who hasn't registered and hasn't responded. So I'm not sure if he's going to be at the conference speaking. Um, I gave him until tomorrow end of day to let me know um so if he's not gonna be able to make it then we'll be able to fit you in okay and so that would be one of the lightning talks during the lunch hour yeah or do you need 45 minutes i guess no, no, i should no, have no, asked no, that no, that's well there's there's easily 45 minutes of fun topics to discuss but no way a lightning talk is already great a okay talk during the lunch hour lets us highlight to people hey the platform SIG is helping you, you can help the platform SIG. Okay, awesome. yeah. So, okay, so yes, I was referring to 15 minutes, so that works. So I'll let you know. I'm not ignoring you, just wanna let you know that. Cool. Okay, was there anything else on the DevOps world side of things? Um, so I think the only thing left for me, so the collateral, so this is a good starting point and then a rolling deck. Um, you know how we, uh, have the, the rolling deck to help promote, you know, to talk about what's happening at the, uh, uh, within our booth. So, um, so Tracy, would you have last year's deck that you can send me and then we'll just update that? I yes to the first of it i do have it i sent it to you i'm not sure it's okay. that reusable because some of it's the fine. things in there have not progressed um right what it might be good to do is maybe if we can get folks here to reach out to the community and get like a one page on gsoc um and then i can provide like one page on outreachy and i can get matt sicker to help with that yeah um, so we just kind of dish out the one pages on all the ver various things happening. Yeah, so, that would be perfect. Yeah, let's see. Uh, let me help do that. Alyssa, you used some code words that I didn't quite comprehend. Could you, you describe it in the context of somebody who doesn't understand what? So this is a series of slides that are presented on a TV in the in the area. Yeah. So if so, if you recall at the. Um, at the community booth, we have several screens. Um, so it'll be the same format this year. And so the, 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 the goal is that, you know, while the screen is idle, that we have this rolling deck. It's like a marketing deck, basically. And we would play that on those screens when those screens are not being used. 
And um, people just tend to stop and stare. So I think this is the one we had last year. Yeah. Um, so it was talking about the five um, superpower projects and meet the ambassadors. But I think the approach for this year would be um, more SIG focused, but we could keep some things in, like maybe Evelina provides an update for configuration as code. Mark, if we get something, a one page on platform SIG highlights. Um, right. I think platform, it's platform and documents docs. Yeah. I'd love to have them both in that deck just to be part of the scrolling. Okay. So let's do that. So let's see. So we've got GCASC, uh, docs, platform SIG, outreach. Uh, so let's split those up so we can do GSOC. Oleg, do you think you'd be happy to do something on a slide on GSOC? Yeah, I can do that, or we can collaborate with other organizations. So we have one slider, but it's a bit outdated. Yeah. So we'll probably find a new one, or maybe a couple of slides, let's see. Uh, and yeah, I'll reach out to other folks like Rick, who might have some stuff on the Chinese SIG. Cool. Okay, so I'll do that, and then maybe yeah, we could just kind of crowdsource it. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Yeah. Thank if it's you. Time frame, I can also try doing something for community bridge. And uh, yeah, we can definitely have just uh, uh, slides uh, for all the sub project and all six listings. So, for example, when you start six section, you can just have a slide which uh, refers uh, all six, maybe just quad code and game. So, uh, just additional information yeah do you think it would be fine as well if we put in some of the like one pages for some of the interesting technical projects so i'm thinking things like kubernetes operator uh some of the cloud providers are promoting their plugins for um storage so both microsoft and google have a set of uh jenkins plugins for cloud storage mm -hmm. Whatever works, and uh, technically I'm not sure how many screens we have, but we might have just two slide decks. Yeah, yeah. whatever. Uh, okay. Plus one from me to have whatever stuff. Okay, so we'll see whoever can respond and yeah. yeah. Tracy, is CGI creating a template for uh, Kosuke's keynote? Maybe we can use some of that design in this template. They are, but... Okay. Uh, I don't know what the time, I don't recall the timelines for it. Okay, no worries, I can check. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's true because they he'll be doing a lot more on kind of the 15 years of Jenkins, so maybe we might want to pull in that theme as well. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Let me just add this. Yeah, I think definitely having that, the Butler logo with the 15 year um, mm -hmm. would be fun. Oh. Okay, anything else, Alyssa? No, I'm good, thank That's you. good for the conference, perfect. Yeah. Okay, fast forward. Um, okay, so next item is Hacktoberfest events, Oleg. Yeah, so it's a rather heads up. Um, uh, October 1st, uh, yeah, firstly, it will happen this year. Uh, surprisingly, it will happen in October as usual. Um, and yeah, they are going to start announcements and preparing everything uh, in early September. Uh, but uh, basically, last year we had a positive experience with several meetups happening around October 1st. So maybe this year we could facilitate uh, this uh, topic in the community earlier maybe send message to all uh, uh, meetup organizers and whatever so that we can uh, organize more meetups uh, within October first time frame. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, so yeah, it's probably a topic to discuss after Jenkins World, so at the next uh, meeting. What's going to happen, yeah, we already have a discussion about uh, hack test or whatever it's called uh, around the GSOC Mentor Summit. 
because uh, you have uh, several people in Munich, including me and Marky at this time frame. Mm -hmm. So yeah, hopefully we will get it organized. And yeah, maybe something in Switzerland, I'm not sure if time allows. And yeah, if uh, anybody else is interested to organize it in your city, please just do that. Um, quick question, remind me how long it tends to run for? Is it uh, two weeks or uh, a month? Uh, a month. So basically, Hacktoberfest is an online event, but Hacktoberfest also encourages uh, local community organizers to, uh, to run on-site events. So basically, it's just a hackathon uh, focusing on a few particular projects with some introductions, overview of G, uh, sorry, Hacktoberfest, etc., and some demos in the end. Okay. So Sounds what good. I'm going to do this year, I plan to just have uh, hard test uh, on the morning and then uh, common meet up on the evening if uh, the venue allows, so that we can combine uh, both activities. But yeah, the framework uh, is yet to be defined and basically it really depends on meetup organizers. If they want to run that, yeah, they can choose whatever format they want. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that sounds like a good thing to just mm -hmm. build up to. So, and this seems like the right time to start raising that yeah, right. consciousness. So last Hacktoberfest, we got around uh, 40 unique contributors uh, in the Jenkins organization. Unfortunately, this year I wasn't able to calculate it properly because they stopped requiring the Hacktoberfest label. So maybe we got more than 40, but I cannot say for sure. And so, yeah, it's not bad. Great. Okay. Um, so moving on from Hacktoberfest to Hackathon and DevOps World Jenkins World Lisbon. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Oleg. Do you want us to lead with this? Yeah. So I was wondering whether there are any discussions about that, and if not, uh, would be the technical possibility to organize that. For example, like we did in Nice uh, last year. Um, so. Yeah. Just a question. Actually, Alyssa, do we have, have we mapped out kind of contributor summits or anything for Lisbon? Have we set any of that yet? No. Mm -hmm. No, we haven't. What is the main day of the conference? Um, let me take a look. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Tracy, do you think CDF would want to join? Um, the big problem with that one is going to be that KubeCon is really close by. So, all oh, right, the bandwidth of organizing at the same time is going to be tricky. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot less presence in Europe. So right. I don't know. Okay. Um, so conference days are December 3rd to the 5th. Right. So uh, December, let me take a look. So probably the main conference days will be the 4th and the 5th as the main conference day. And usually the day before that, so which is the 3rd, we do workshops and training. Mm -hmm. So if we said something like the second would be a contributor summit and maybe on the third we could have an optional hackathon if there was interest. Yes, do you think that's workable? Um, I would have to see if the venue is available on the second. If we've contracted the second, that's a Monday. Okay. Or we could actually yeah. do it the other way around if we need we do the hackathon on the Monday at, uh, we can pick a different location, like a co-working space or something. And then the third would be the contributor summit or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me see. Um, I can check with the team to see what space we have available um, on Monday, if any. Yeah. So um, just to be clear, so I'd be, happy to help organize the contributor summit oleg it sounds like you'd be happy to try organize a hackathon 
Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Or and as separate things, or you know, there's also the possibility we just kind of fold them into one thing. So, oh, like the hackathon, or are you thinking like an all-day thing? I'm thinking about all-day thing because okay. otherwise they don't work well. Okay. Uh, yes, uh, Tracy said uh, there is no particular need to have it on site. So, okay. yeah, hackathon, uh, you have much more freedom with it. Obviously, if there is empty space on site, we would be happy to use that. Uh, if not, yeah, we can find another opportunity. Okay. So, yeah, I think that uh, Contributor Summit on third and Hackathon on second uh, looks more reasonable. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm not sure what's uh, the plan for workshops because, yeah, Contributor Summit may soak some participants while Hackathon will be unlikely to do that. Okay, I'll find out for us. Mm -hmm. okay, thank you. Yep. So, uh, yeah, for Hackathon, uh, we have uh, some time. Uh, so, it's not a problem if we discuss it in September after Jinkies World. Okay. But, yeah, for Contributor Summit, maybe it's more important because it will require a bigger venue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Okay. Um, so I've got to the end of the agenda items. Is there anything else people want to ask about or raise? Nothing for me. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, going once, going twice. Um, I have still not organized myself enough to have got YouTube access, apologies, but if anybody can help, I will share the drive up and then stick the link in um, the Gitter chat. I'm happy to do that for you, Alyssa. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. I assume it goes to the Jenkins, the Jenkins channel uh, or the Jenkins YouTube channel and is there, a, if you, there's a playlist that you wanted to attach to as well, let me know what that is. And I'll bring it yeah, I believe Oleg had nice, very well created as a playlist that we can use. Okay, so you just put a look as a label and the playlist will be assigned automatically. Great. Will do. Magic. Great. Okay, thanks everybody. Uh, have Thank a good you. Week. Bye. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.